Politics. Yes, we are at UK Games Expo 2023 and we are with the delightful Rene and the delightful Richard of Lone Wolf. And we've got a very, very exciting game here. This is Lone Wolf, the miniatures game. Yes, you love your little miniatures, don't you? <laughs> what the hell's going on? Explain it. We don't know. <laughs> Um, Before we go any further, this is a prototype. Yes. This is the game is still in development. Yes. And who's developing the game? So we're working with Stone Sword Games. Uh, I, I visited UK Games Expo a couple of years ago. Spent a long time going around looking at all the different games uh, that were being produced. Yeah. Come across these lovely guys, and they're almost squealed with delight when we said, "Look, we want to make a Lone Wolf <laughs> miniatures game." Um, and so James, the amazing James Faulkner, and and Paul. I never remember his name. <laughs> Paul, Paul Green, Paul Warren, or something. He, he won't be watching. It's called Paul. He's he called won't be Paul. Watching. Anyway, okay. um, and they're amazing guys, and they created the amazing Senjutsu, uh, which is a Japanese fighting game. I loved it. I loved the concept. And so I spoke to Ben um, and all these wonderful guys like Richard and that, and said, "Look, let's do this." Uh, and here's the first prototype of it, and we're, we're really happy so and you, proud to show it off at the show. So you guys, so did you all have an input in the concept? Or so I, I think, you, no, or? I think what I did, I would have to say like, I come up with a, a very grandiose, I tend to come up with like a very like, ambitious, man. ambitious, it's always yeah. ambitious with Too me. ambitious. Too ambitious. <laughs> and then uh, they, like Kirby and Dewey says, come now Rene, <laughs> let's take it down a bit or two. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I did do a board game design course um, and I, I had this idea but then I think what the guys were really good at is that they wanted to stay true to uh, the, the Lone Wolf book series because the beauty of this, the, the one thing, the wonderful thing that Joe did is he was so prolific to so create this incredible saga, 32 yeah. books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and what that means is if you think of each book as a campaign, because it's a legacy, you're up, you're up, you're up, you know, you're leveling up just like the Dungeons and Dragons. That means that gives us the opportunity to create expansions. Yeah. So this can go on for a very long time. The fans love it, and obviously if we produce a really good game. Yeah. Um, and so what we decided to do was the first two game books, uh, um, uh, Flight from the Dark and Fire and the Water, will be included in the core box set. And so in the core box set, you'll get some core minis, um, and you'll get lots of tokens for your baggies. Look at the minis. Look. Yeah. Now yes. one thing that mm. was very, I know, very exciting to hear is... It's not just one lone wolf, is there? No. So it's two lone wolves. So jo so Joe um, sort of wrote. I mean, originally, I have to say, originally, yeah. originally, originally, it was re there was sort of references to lone wolf being male, but it's always a bit ambiguous, right? Yeah, yeah, because um, it's a game book, so normally it's you do this, you do yeah. that. So obviously, if you're a female. You're going to put yourself in that situation. Yeah, and, and, you know, it gets a bit boring. It's like, oh, look, I'm at another male. So, I mean, it, you know, it's not about necessarily about male or female. It's about it's you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I just think that, and that's what I love. So with definitive, definitive editions, uh, that, that is, you don't know the gender, So right? you can pick... Yeah, and we've done that. So we've yeah. taken that and said, yeah, hey, why not be lone wolf female? Why not be lone wolf male? Yeah. Whatever, you know. Um, and then you've got other, so how many minis are there going to be? So there'll be about eight in the core set, so you have the kind of main, your main people in your uh, um, gang. And the monsters. And then you'll be, yeah, I mean, you, we've got to have Zagana. So the idea with these expansions, uh, these campaigns, is you're going to have the big baddie with each one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to have some of the other core characters that you can add into your kind of crew. And that's the one departure that we have between, I mean, Lone Wolf would always work with other people to fight battles and things like that, you know, yeah. it's kind of, like I always say, it's kind of a bit like Luke Skywalker, you know, rain, total, ranger type dude. Yeah, um, yeah. So he would get a gang together and they would go all fights together and he'd fight these amazing battles. But, so what we're doing here is we want it, it to be cooperative, but you could also be, you can still play it solo, so you can have multiple characters and you can play all of those, and we'll get into the game in a bit. Um, not too much because we well, only just we only just, just saw it the other day. Let, let, let's you can shut up. Yeah, I'll shut up. <laughs> we'll let Richard. All the pressure's on Richard yeah. now, and then Renee can chip yeah. in if need be. So can you just if a, I can do it. Yeah, yeah. So just give me a, a bit of a brief overview of what it actually. Is. So it's a skirmish game primarily. Yes. It's a campaign-driven game. Yes. Yeah. Based on some of the key moments um, from the books. Okay. Um, and it's drawn to the characters from the second book. So we have the four heroes set on the board here. We have Lone Wolf. Yeah. Uh, we have Banadon, uh, Lone Wolf's wizard friend. Okay, that must be him then. That's Banadon. Yeah. Okay. 
there's loads. And these are really cool. Yeah, uh, Bannon's actually got the Crystal Star pendant, he's actually wearing it. Oh yeah, I could just about see it, just about see it. About yeah. see it. Yeah. So, that's cool. That's a really great one. Yeah. Um, we've got Mika, Rebecca, uh, the assassin in the books, I meet her in book two. But yep. here we actually meet her early and yeah. she comes and helps you out. Cool, um, excellent. We've also got Ganon, who's a knight of the White Mountain. With, okay. We've got no one standing in for him at the moment, but... Oh, I see. There so he is, can... and he's got his, that shield will go on his back, and he's got uh, his crest okay. of arms and journal. Oh, that's cool. So... So he's got he's got his massive axe. He's also got a shield that clips onto his back. Yeah. Cool. So the, so the four of them are sort of you come across these people in the forest. We have some some landing refugees here on this side of the board who are trapped behind these barricades. Uh, okay. So you got refugees. So, so basically, this is scenario one of the prototype. Yes. And then so these are sort of this is presumably like a smallish scenario. Yeah. Just to kind of get you get into the game. To, yeah. Using your abilities. Because of course, the main thing is it's a cooperative game. You have to work together Co -op to game. beat the scenario. Yeah. Um, and the better you do, the more experience you'll get, and the easier the other fights later on will be because you'll be able to invest in the experiences you've got in your new abilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You always have 12 cards to pick from, but it might be a better 12 cards. Or better so, so do you want to just explain then one of the uh, characters set up, if you like? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so first of all, the, this line at the top will be something that Noble fans are kind of familiar with. It's your endurance score. So, so this is your endurance, yeah. yeah. We'll start with 15 endurance, um, and it, it can go up by the looks of things. Um, but more likely, I would say it's probably, it's probably it's going to go down. Yeah. Go down. It goes down. I remember it, it goes down quite quickly yeah. at times. Yeah. <laughs> That's where you need food. Um, so up here, the first one is, is your Kai dice. Okay. Now this is Banadan. So Banadan's only got one Kai dice. The other characters have only got one Kai dice, but Lone Wolf, being Lone Wolf, has, has two, two. Kai dice. And what does the Kai dice do? Then? Okay, so this is kind of a special die because you know what the number is going to be. At the start of, the, of your phase of rounds, you will roll it, yeah. and then whatever the number is, when you need to, oh, hello, <laughs> that doesn't happen in the books. <laughs> so by the game, it's yeah. even better. Um, so there we are. So I've rolled a six. So any time I need to use one of these abilities, yeah. if I need to get a number that the six is going to be useful for, yeah. then I can plug that in instead of using the regular dice, which are the black ones, which we're coming down to. Because you've got a dice. Oh, a okay. You've got a cooler dice. Yeah. Um, so the black dice, everybody's got a certain number of. And these yellow ones are special ones. Um, these are actually willpower dice for Banadon. Oh, okay. uh, we've got, uh, I believe they're called dexterity dice, I don't know that's the final term, but dexterity dice for, yeah. for Vika. Oh, and I see. strength dice for so, so each different coloured dice for each character, you get a different skill. Yes. Okay, excellent. So Banadon specialises in willpower skills. In willpower. And, okay. and there's a, a spell here he can cast. And because of the yellow square there, that means he'll be using one of these yellow dice. Uh, okay, so you go, yeah, I rolled a plus five, yeah. brilliant. Or if, so these have got five, four, five, or six. Yeah, four, five, or six of those, luckily. So there's a good chance you can get it. And then you, that means you can then pass that spell. Yes. Yeah. And do you get a deck of these spells? You get a deck of yeah. 12. A deck of 12 deck spells. Of, we've just put some out as well. Yeah. If we had time, uh, we'd go for a bit used to you can, you can pick them from the counter spell that you might recognise from the books and things. There's other things you can do. You can get people yeah. to run towards you, particularly maybe you want to save the villagers. Because oh, that's, that's the whole point of it. There's yeah. a healing spell as well. And things like that. So, so that's pretty cool. Tactics are important. And then, of course, you've got your bottles, you know, your yes. items and your... your yes, that's a, that's a healing potion, Potion of Valsper. Nice. So local fans will be familiar with what that sort of thing can do. Cool. Um, and Bandon's staff gives him two of these cards, which looks like a no-entry sign. What it actually means is certain things in the game will mean you need to discard a card. Oh, okay. If you're Bannadon, you can instead play that token, you and you don't instead. discard the card. Oh, so, that's so again, the yeah. tactic, we're learning more and more how important the tactics will be in working together. Yeah. Like so this particular scenario, like you said, was you've got villagers yeah. that are being attacked by various monsters. Yes. And you have to escort them through. Yes. So it's, so that's what I like about campaigns is that they're the low level scenarios and then hopefully you get new power up yes. but then the scenarios get harder and harder. Well, 
So then when you reach, say, the final one back on the page, it's, it's mad. <laughs> there is, there is, yes, there is a threat. Uh, there is a threat. Oh, the threat level, level. right? Um, yeah. So there's a threat level here. This is quite important for the scenario because it's to start off with the heroes have just arrived on the scene. Right. Um, so they're not a threat to the enemies. Uh, this is why the heroes start up on zero. Right. Whereas the NPCs are on, or I think it's on a two. They're already on they're it. They're on a two. So the enemies, when they've got a choice of what they want to do and who they want to attack, on the threat level they go to the most, the highest threat. So to start with, the enemy are going to go for the civilians. So you can't think, are oh, they going to come and fight us and the civilians will be right? No, no, no. They're coming towards the civilians. They're not worried about you. And so the way you increase your threat level, you can use skills to do it, like Ganon's got uh, a skill. Okay. So he can turn now, I think it's oh, yeah, exactly. that. Yeah. So provided he makes the rolls and everything, he increases his threat. So he's taunting them to come over yes. to me. Come and he's yeah. the right one to do it. He's the one with the armor. He's the one with the best weapon. Yeah. If you should defeat some of these creatures, the Gears and the War Dogs, each one has like a, a number. Oh, okay, okay cool. Yeah, so you've got, a, you've got a scenario sheet that then has each of the baddies on it. Yes. And this is obviously, again, it's not completely finished. The, yeah. the, the final art might change. Yeah. Um, but this is sort of gives the statistics for what they can do. So the dogs, for instance, the footprints are a movement, so they've got a four. So right. it's not going to take long for them to rush up and grab the somlending. <laughs> Bite your face off. Um, the heart is health, as you'd expect. So yeah. they've got two. So if you don't kill one in one go, you can put one of these heart tokens on there to say... To say, it's yeah, it's only left. got one left, yeah. Um, and the two is their, like, their attack skill. Yes, yes. So you are playing the heroes, but the scenario is going to be playing what the villains are up to. Yeah. And when you're planning your turn, all of you together... You will know what the villain's going to be doing on that turn and for, for the first three turns because you have these cards here. Oh, okay, now, these so this is what they do. Change. This is the start of the turn, you'll be pulling cubes out. Now, if you pull a blue cube, you might get some blessings, which are like re rolls. This one's a flip where you can turn a one that you've rolled into a six. Oh, There's all okay. sorts of like little yeah, bonuses and boosts. Little extras. But we know from when you've played your first turn and everybody's had their first turn. It's this little sunrise. So, oh, so okay. when, when the players have had their first turn, yeah. then you do all of the monsters first turn the sunrise. So this guy is the not sunrise going to be category, right? This one's going to be moving. Yeah. And that one is going to be attacking whatever's yeah. nearby. Nearest to. And the highest threat nearby as well. So, so right. you've got to make sure you've got to be more threatening. Yeah. And, and if don't you don't want to be a threat, you just run away. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and so, so that's what so you can base those tactics on that. But this doesn't it's not the same every time, you know. Yeah, so there's, there's other ones. They become and random. The cubes out, you might shuffle them. Yeah. And what Rene in particular I've got to show this because I know Rene loves it. Okay. They can get these special skills. So just when you think you've got the battle under control, uh, there there's a big trick, target, trick, target yeah. the character with the lowest threat. Uh, so actually it might go for one of the might. heroes instead. Oh that's clever. I, yeah, that is or, a good mechanic. Or target the character with the lowest interest. Yeah. It's never quite gonna be same game yeah. twice. So and you also, can't have a perfect yeah. So well, that's the beauty of these games, aren't they? You don't want the same, so you can no. replay scenarios yeah. again and again. And there's still again. be surprises. Yeah. And so, presumably, there's three phases yes. to this. Yeah. yeah. Each each card you have, you all play your first cards, and we've got a soul card, and then you have the sunrise, which is all the monsters' first action, and then, and then the next phase is you all play your second card. <laughs> Oh, I see, yeah, and then you assign and then the this one for the phase. So, so what you can do is try and discuss. You must, yeah. Yeah, yes, that's what we're what, learning. Yeah, what, what best? Talk. Yeah, what best? Get on with your friends. <laughs> <laughs> you actually have to talk. You're, to. you're not lonely anymore. <laughs> well, you can. Well, you play up the full page. You play it. You can play, play as one play as well. That's good. Cool. So basically, you would sort of discuss. Well, actually, I'm going to put this card to the last because it, it's better to put it there. Yes. And you were saying earlier, yes. actually, you, know that, you know that they're not going to be anywhere near you. There's yeah. no point in having an attack card where you can't move. Yeah. There's no, there's so, not going to be anybody near you. Yeah. And there was one character that sort of gives benefits to other characters. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. So um, that's pretty cool. Paladin spells can yeah. stop in power. So the there's no point in really putting it maybe at the end when maybe the battle's over. Yeah. Or yeah. You don't, might don't save it. it. Yeah. You you can use it though, yeah. Well. And you can combine that then with, say, a more powerful attack right. in the first phase. And I believe as, as you spend more 
after the after, after the scenario, win or lose, you move on. So even if all the villagers die, you, have, you move on to the next bit. Um, we we'll, we'll go to Fogwood, the Lima Bridge, all the passage. Do you places. get punishments if you've kind of failed? Yeah, I believe so. Oh yes, there is actually. Yeah. I, um, I don't. I, it's not written down, but I have been verbally told some of the things um, that they're going to put. I don't. Is it an exclusive? Nobody looking. Nobody's okay. looking. So. Don't listen for the next 30 seconds, but um, there may or may not be a blacksmith that you may or may not help. And if you do a good job, then you may save his... I'll just show you that. You might, If you've read the books, you might know what that means. Maybe save his village and do quite well and don't ruin his blacksmithing. He might come and help you for the next race. Uh, and if you don't, he might be rebuilding his house and he might send his apprentice. So that might not be good. Oh, so yeah. no, it's good, yeah. So, um, oh, that's good. So, so it's a good as well. So, yeah. for this particular, you get rewards. Yeah. So, every hero that gets two experience and they get an additional um, experience so for every civilian that escapes. Yeah. So, if you do save them all, this new experience goes like this. Yeah. And when is this? Do you know when this is meant to be launched? Ah, oh, there it is, in autumn. Can I yeah, scan the QR code? <laughs> yeah, where's the QR code? There's the QR code. There we are. So, so in autumn of this year, 2023, it's coming to Kickstarter. Fantastic. It's not just battle. After the battle, just quickly, yeah. um, there will be, I think it's called a caravan phase, I don't know if that's going to be the term it's kept, it's caravan based, yeah. you get to craft equipment and spend yeah. the experience on your abilities yeah. and just improve. Level up. You don't want to get, get, get your shit together. Get, get your shit together for the next phase. Yeah, for the next time. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, oh, Richard, for explaining that. No, 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 no. And I hope you did a good job. Oh, yeah, she did a fair job. I got it wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's it. It's, if they, this is a prototype, so obviously there will be things that have changed. There will be things that presumably will be improved on. Obviously, this yeah, isn't yeah, the feedback. Yeah, 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 we love feedback. Absolutely. And this isn't the final artwork for me. Anyway, thank you very much. So check it out. Awesome on Kickstarter. Lone Wolf, the miniatures game.